morning and welcome to another morning on Israelite Sports Network. Today we have another exciting matchup as the Israelites continue their conquest of their opponents land. Today's matchup is Israelites versus Amalekites. Let's go into the studio and check in with our sports analysts, Tony Dungy and Ronnie Harrison. Tony, what's your pick for today? I'm going to have to go with the Israelites. The offense has been outstanding so far this season, and even though the Malachi is stronger and bigger, we can't rule off the power of God they serve. I may be going out on a limb here, but my pick is with the Israelites. That is just like you, Tony. Always rooting for the underdog. You say you're going out on a limb every single time. Just acknowledge the Malachites are the better team, and they're going to win here. They're strong. The well coached and they have home field advantage. What more do you need? It may be well coached, but I don't think you can rule out the strength of the Israelite team. They're also well coached after all. The coach is God, and they have a pretty strong, competent team in Moses, Joshua, Aaron, and her. I guess we'll just have to say to see. Let's send you now to our announcers on the field, Alan Chris. Hi, I'm Al Michaels, and I'd like to welcome you to tonight's highly anticipated game between the Israelites and the Amalekites. Both teams come into this game undefeated and have been utterly dominant so far this season. The Amalekites have been relying on a strong running game and solid defense and are coached by their king. The Israelites have been playing a more spiritual game, if you will, and have been relying on their God, who has also been coaching the team. I would like to welcome to the, into the studio my partner, Chris Collinsworth. Chris, what do you think of the Israelites' recent strategy? Well, it's rather unorthodox. I've never seen anything quite like it before. But we cannot forget the amazing battle they had against the Egyptians when they were down by a lot in the first and came back with 10 straight scoring drives. It was very impressive and ended up winning that game. Yes, after they barely escaped at the finish. Well, we'd like to, re we'd like to re bring in our third member of our team, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, and Michelle is down the field right now. Thanks, Alan, Chris. I talked to both coaches, and the coach of the Amalekite team said that he's going to treat this just like any other week. He said that his players are all well-rested and strong and ready to compete, and they think they have a pretty good chance against the Israelites. I talked to the Israelites' captain, Moses, and he said that this is also going to be treated just like any other game, that they're going to rely on their God to call the plays, and that they're expecting to take a victory away from this because of the, the strength and power of their God. Back to you guys. And it looks like the game is about to begin. And we're off! It looks like the Amalekites have taken an early lead as they have blasted through the early defenses of the Israelites. Yeah, I can't believe this! They're going straight for the captain! What do you see out here, Chris? Yes, Alan, it appears that they have gone with the classic Roman strategy. This is textbook. This is just bounced straight shoulder to shoulder through the line of defenses. I don't know what they're going to be able to hold up. Well, it looks like they back blasted through those early defenses and are going straight at Moses. Wait, wait, what is Moses doing? Can we... Let's get a close-up on Moses. It looks like he's just raising his hands. Is he just trying to signal Joshua and his fellow, his fellow teammates right now? What is he doing, Al? I don't know, Al, but it looks like it started to work. As he raises his hands, they have started to fight back strong. They're trying to come back. This could be huge. They may come back and win this yet. Dude, this is crazy. I'm not sure. It looks like as if Moses is holding his hands, it's single-handedly putting the Israelites back in the game. Now here's a man who looks like he is just willing his team to victory. Not many people can do this. You know what? This reminds me of Tom Brady. You know what? It might. That's okay. But it will. Let's, get, let's get back to the game. It looks like the Amalekites are starting to, to come back now and take the lead. What is happening now? Well, let's see. It appears that Moses is having trouble keeping his hands in the air. It really looks like he's having trouble. It looks like his defensive line is really going to be needed to step this up. I think so, but it looks like his offensive line now is coming with a rock in their hands. It appears, it appears they're going to let him sit on this rock. They're going to let Moses sit on the rock. I, I, I mean, as he has gotten older through his years, he has gotten a little bit weaker. This may be a good way to help him stay up and keep his team alive in this hard time. It's true. His mobility has decreased. But it looks like now Moses not only is sitting on the rock, it looks like the two, two of his offensive line are physically holding his arms up. And you know what? It looks like it's working. The Israelites are taking a lead. It doesn't look like this game might last much longer. The Israelites are winning. This is amazing. This is incredible. Looks like the amount of coach is going to have him fall back and call a timeout. Yes, and with that timeout, we're going to go to break. Okay, we'll be back uh, with the Israelites leading late in the game. After this message from our sponsors, no word from your local station.
Here's the rock. Drink this. <clears throat> oh. And the Israelites won. Next, on 45 minutes, rebuilding the pyramids has resumed. After a long hiatus, how has the recent loss of labor affected the pharaoh? We'll have an interview with the pharaoh and his officials next after the game on 45 minutes. And we're back in Rafidim for, for the exciting conclusion of the game between the Israelites and the Amalekites. As you can see, it appears as if Moses is sitting on a rock with two of his, of his fellow players holding his arms up. And it seems as long as his arms up, the Israelites are winning this game. Yeah, this does not look like the Amalekites are going to last much longer at all. As before, Moses was having a little bit of trouble holding his hands in the air. But when his team came along, gave him that rock and helped support him, he has really come back. The sun is about to set, and it looks like the Malachites might be wiped out for good. Yes, and it appears they have been wiped out, and the game has come to a conclusion. The Israelites win this one again. We're going to send him out down to down on the field, where Michelle Tafoya has an interview with the captain of the Israelites, Moses himself. How does it feel, Moses, knowing that your team was able to win today? Well, it feels great, but my arms are a bit tired. Uh, but... Our coach provided a great support team to keep me held up. All credit goes to Coach God. There will be another banner hanging from the rafters. It looked for a while there like your team was in trouble. To what do you attribute the victory? Well, all victory goes to Coach God once again, but I tell you what, he always provides the strength and support we need to defeat our opponents. I gotta get back to the locker room. Thank you, back to you, Alan Chris. Thanks, Michelle. Well, that's about all of us, from, all for us down here on the fields. For Michelle Tafoya, Chris Collinsworth, and myself, Al Michaels, this has been the feet down, the crew down at the field in Rafidum. We send it back to you in the studio, Tony and Rodney. Let's look one more time at probably the most important moment in today's game. Yeah, Tony, Moses was starting to fade, but you can see his teammates coming along on the side here. Look at the way they take control by placing the rock and helping him hold his hands up. We can't say enough about the power of teamwork in this situation. If they hadn't played their part, the game would have been over at this point. So that's right. Thank you for joining us tonight. Join us next week as Israelite Coach drafts the new lobs.